Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate destination for all things automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. If you're passionate about understanding the inner workings of your vehicle and keeping it in top-notch condition, you're in the right place. From in-depth reviews to step-by-step -step tutorials, we've got it all covered. Before we dive into today's video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. And if you find our content helpful, consider giving us a super thanks to support the channel. Your support helps us bring you more amazing content. Let's get started. How to repair Zorse VVDI2 if no OBD connection. Problem. The Zorse VVDI2 key programmer can program chips normally but cannot connect to OBD. There is no status indicator displayed, and the VVDI2 stopped receiving power from the OBD port, preventing communication with vehicles. However, it still receives power when connected to a laptop, and the OBD2 cable is not faulty. Possible reason. A component within the device may be burnt. Specifically, it could be a fuse that is no longer functional. Solution. In this scenario, it is recommended to send the VVDI2 back to your seller for repair. Alternatively, you can contact customer service through the Zorse app, submit your request, and Zorse staff will reach out to assist you. Some users have shared DIY solutions and attempted to repair the VVDI2 themselves. Please note that these tips are shared at your own risk. Here are the repair tips. 1. Identify the component that is a simple diode. You can source a diode from an old circuit board. 2. Replace the diode and the fuse. 3. You will need the following components. A capacitor XL. One diode with the number SMAJ15CA. A 6V poly fuse. Replace the specified components along with the Shockey diode. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts or any questions you might have. Your support means the world to me and helps keep this channel going. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and share this video with fellow automobile enthusiasts. And if you really enjoyed the content, consider clicking on the super thanks button to show your support. Together, we can make the world of car diagnostics and programming a bit easier for everyone. Until next time, take care and happy diagnosing.